Hi, greeting from uh, La Paz, Bolivia. This is highest height wise, it's the highest elevation amongst the uh, city, they may call it. Uh, it's about 4,000 meters. You know, we have uh, met many people who are interested in the gospel here as well. But, you know, being interested uh, and uh, following Christ uh, is a way different life. You know, it's someone who are only interested, they cannot understand the life who follow Jesus Christ. Uh, recently, I have met some uh, people who are uh, uh, compassionate towards other people. And in the name of a compassion, uh, you know, they say, you know what, uh, we have to be very sensitive with the certain people in need. And, you know, obviously, if you see someone who's hungry before you, if you see someone who uh, has been shattered with their own uh, problems and situations. I mean, it is only right to feel compassion about them. But there's another type of a, a compassion. Uh, it's a compassion of a Christ. It's a love of a Christ. Yes, God loves everyone because God created everyone. And that's why He has sent one and only Son, Jesus Christ. But there are uh, things to be done priority-wise. Uh, I think often uh, we hear our own selves, we hear our, we hear our own emotions and needs, uh, and you know, we, we are tormented in a way sometimes, uh, that you know, we have to immediately help that person and, and do this and do that. But, if you are a person that who has been called by God Himself, um, you have to focus on God's leading. Let's say you are running towards uh, where that God indicated, and that's the first priority thing to do, right? And on the way, you have met someone who are in need. What do you do? Do you stop? To that person to help that person or you just run towards where God wants you to go if God called you for specific reasons you have to focus on God amen then it is God who will help that person not you it is God who will guide you to God's glorious reason you have to trust God so often, you have to be very careful. Uh, you know, don't, don't ever think that you are too holy <laughs> enough to help everyone. Because you cannot. Yes, it is good to have a heart that you want to, but know the fact it is God who does that. But if you are too holy that you cannot hear God, <laughs> but you can only hear yourself, hear your own emotion, hear your own compassion in the name of whatever it is, then you know what? You will fail to follow God. You will fail to become followers of Jesus Christ. That's why there's Holy Spirit, there's Jesus Christ, and there's God. And that's why you have to baptize them in the name of Father and Son, Jesus Christ, and in Holy Spirit. Amen. Which means according to God's will, not according to your own sorry feelings. Be careful. Please do be careful. I'm going to share uh, Isaiah chapter 66 from verse 2 and verse 5. Two to five, okay? I'll read it with you. Has not my hand made all these things? And so they came into being, declares the Lord. You know, God is the one who created everything, right? So do not feel whatever you feel. 
between your eyelid to your brain, whatever that reflected to your eyelid is not really truth. Uh, what I'm saying is, what the way you discern, the way we discern, the way we see things, it's far less than what God sees. Amen? So we have to know that. This is the one I esteem. This is what God says. You know what? This is one I work with. This is one I love. This is one I really uh, am talking to. This is, this is the one I esteem. He who is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at my word. But whoever sacrifices a bull is like one who kills a man. And whoever offers a lamb like one who breaks a dog's neck. Whoever makes a grain offering is like one who presents a pig's blood. And whoever burns memorial incense like one who worships an idol. They have chosen their own ways, and their souls delight in their abominations. So I will also choose harsh treatment for them, and will bring upon them what they dread. For when I call, when God calls, when God calls you, when I call, no one answer. They were just only uh, listening to their own small voices in their heads. In the name of religion or in the name of God or in the name of the needs. You know why? Because they became arrogant. Maybe you became arrogant. Maybe you can call yourself, you are decent Christians and now you know the words of God and you have a compassion towards everybody. And you know what? You think you have the answer. If you are that, whatever you do, whatever sacrifice you do, it is all for your glory. It is all for how you see things. Yes, you know, let us know what true meaning of a worship is. Trust God. <laughs> And don't be too righteous and know that God who speaks well I guess if if you never feel that Lord speaks to you you will just move amongst with the in between the informations that you have gathered in the name of God amen <laughs> and because of that you soon will get confused see that's why Jesus has come to set you free from your own thoughts, set you free from your own needs, including religious thoughts. Have you really been born again? Which means now, do you hear God or do you just hear your own religious steps and equations and thought processes. That's why it is uh, so important that you shall be baptized with the fire of God and consumed by God's love and passion and live a new life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you and I this morning, now, that you will become humble and so I may become as well and contrite in spirit yes trembling before God to hear the one words one sentence from God and do that do that live that as worship amen and God will guide you and bless you and he will let you become more sensitive with the intention of God God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ Shalom.